Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, I've got a super quick video giving you an overview of three different magnet veggie clip options available from Two Little Fishies. All right guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. And this one, I'm gonna get straight to the point. We're reviewing or giving you an overview of the three different magnet veggie clip options available from Two Little Fishies. I will point out this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I purchased all three of these with my own money. We've got the standard clip that I've been using for a number of years. I will say that it's not the original one I've been using for a number of years and we'll go over that a little bit later. We've got the pouch, which I must admit up until about three months ago, I'd never even knew it existed. So I'm not sure if it's a new product or not, but. I hadn't seen it before. And likewise, the mega magnet clip from Two Little Fishies was something I had not seen before either. So when all three of these came into my local fish shop, I thought I would replace my original, pick up the two new ones, and I'd go through the differences with you guys at home so you can see which one's gonna suit your tank, and more importantly, your tangs. All right, I'll just give you a bit of an overview of the Two Little Fishies range of magnetic clips. Now, this is the one I have been using for quite a long time and I say the one I've gone through a few of these because uh, despite being a good brand and two little fishies I do get a bit nervous about the magnets after a few years I have had a couple swell and um, sort of split around this area here so it's not something that's going to last you forever in fact I'd probably recommend changing them out after every uh, 12 to 18 months it runs I think at about $35 these days the magnet well I'm using it on 19 mil glass at the moment and it does hold just fine we'll get to the mega clip a little bit later but uh, it's the most budget option in there you get literally one outside magnet one inside magnet you get this clip that you just put uh, your seaweed in the fish will come and rip it off that clip you're good to go now I guess the next evolution of that is this uh, this pouch I think they call it pouch feeder you can see this is a $35 option here it's the same price as the clip and probably, I think it's probably a better option depending on the type of fish you have. You get the same magnet situation, you just don't get this uh, clip. Instead, you get two of these pouches. Now, I will point out, if I'm gonna be completely transparent, that I have had a couple of customers tell me that these pouches don't last forever, which I guess is no huge surprise, but they do say they tend to wear out after about six months. And now, this one I've been using for three months, and I have to admit, it is starting to look a little bit tired, so, um, Six months probably is the lifespan. You do get two in a packet. So much like replacing these every 12 months, you've got the same magnets. You're probably gonna go through one of these in 12 months as well. But again, we're talking $35, so not crazy, crazy money. The idea of the pouch is that you put the seaweed inside it, and I'll give you a close up a little bit later as we load these up. And then your fish have to, you load it in there, you put the magnet on, your fish have to pick through these holes rather than just pulling the whole amount of seaweed off. And um, I, th that makes sense. I'll show you in action soon. And depending on the fish you've got in your system, as long as they're a uh, type of tangs that have a narrow pointy nose, they really like this option. Last but not least, this is the Mega Veggie Mag. And um, it looks very similar to the uh, original mag. In fact, the wet side of it is, I'm fairly certain that uh, the clip is exactly the same if I put them next to each other without letting the magnets grab onto each other. They look identical. The only difference is, is you get this huge magnet for the outside of the glass and it's um, squishy. It's a little bit different to the hard one there. It's just gonna hold on thicker glass and it's also gonna hold the uh, clip in place a lot better. Where things get a little bit interesting is I actually like a combination of these two. I like to use the pouch with the mega magnet. That works for me, but um, I'll show you all three in action just so you can get an overview. This is not a video to tell you what's the best or what you should use. I just wanna showcase the options to you, find out what's gonna work best in your tank. One thing I can say, any three of these options personally for me are streets ahead of the suction cup uh, little stick on clips. Personally, I think those things are terrible. Um, they look ugly. They're hard to get in and out of the tank. Using the magnets to lower the uh, clip down into the water where you want it is absolutely awesome. And that is where the mega one's really good. You can, um, you can keep your hands pretty much out of the water. You can drop the uh, wet side in. The mega mag will pull it back into the glass nice and easily for you. But let's load these guys up with some seaweed and then I'll put them in the tank so you can have a close look at which ones the fish like more. All right, this is the uh, nori I use, just uh, found at your local supermarket. I'm gonna put a third of a sheet into each one of these clips. I would normally only feed half a sheet a day, but um, it's gonna be difficult to put a sixth of a sheet into each one of these clips. And uh, 
for the purpose of the video, I figure let's, uh, let's treat these tangs today. So you can see the sheets, I don't know, probably half an A4 size. I'm gonna just uh, put that into thirds roughly. All right, so we've got a third for the standard clip. We've got, if I can tear it nicely, a third for the pouch and then a third for the, uh, oh sorry, that's the mega clip and a third for the standard clip. So what I'm gonna do now is just uh, roll this up. I'm gonna pop him in the clip there. And then what I like to do is just grab some scissors and just uh, cut some strips in there. I just find if um, the fish comes along and grabs hold of it and gives it a big rip, they're gonna pull a strip off rather than um, rather than taking off of the whole lot, which I don't know, might save having a lot of seaweed just floating around the tank. All right, that guy's ready to go. Let's load one into the pouch. Whee, watch out for those magnets. Now, it's got this little clip here. You just pop that clip off. That lets you pull that off. You can then open the pouch up. I'm gonna roughly fold this up to fit in there. I do find loading these pouches to be a little bit fiddly, but um, it's worth the effort. And of course, I've done probably the worst job I've ever done whilst filming, but that's the way these things go. There's <laughs> so much more on the table. Anyway, put that clip on. All right, that guy's ready to go. And then last but not least, our mega clip. I'm gonna do much the same approach as the standard clip on that guy. Pop him in there. All right, I lost a bit of my seaweed there, but uh, let's get these guys in the tank. All right, let's add some into the system. We'll start off with the pouch. Then we'll add the mega. And last but not least, the standard. Let's let these fish enjoy. All right, let's get in up nice and close for a good look at these big fish ripping into the seaweed. Look at that Atlantic blue. Disappears off with a little bit of a fright because he does not like the camera yet for some reason, gets those stripes. You can see uh, the sailfin, the gem, the purple all tend to like the uh, pouch feeder. My big male blonde lipstick there does like the big mega clip. But uh, what beautiful sight it is to see all these fish in an absolute feeding frenzy with a full sheet of nori in there. Sensational. I do find they tend to go for the uh, two clips first just because it's easier. And uh, you can see some big guys like uh, my blonde lipstick and uh, the Atlantic Blue like to come in and rip into them. And uh, on the mega, you can actually hear it rattle as they grab onto it and give it a shake. But uh, I do find uh, my gem and my purple, the uh, sail fin, the guys with a pointier nose like to jump in onto the pouch one. I don't know if that's because it's a bit harder for the other guys with the big faces to get onto it, but uh, it definitely seems to last a lot longer. Whether that means they like it more or not, I'm not sure. But personally, I like to see the seaweed last more than say, I don't know, 90 seconds in the tank, particularly if they just rip it off and let it float away. The bits they get out of the pouch, I find, seems to be a better size for them to actually eat. But uh, I guess you kind of need a combination because like I said, my two big guys here, they don't seem to be able to get into the pouch. So, um, well, they definitely seem to prefer the clip. The other guys prefer the pouch. So I tend to feed both in. As a result, I like to use both the mega and the pouch just because I like to, the way I can move this one around much easier than this one. This one, I can still move it around, but it, uh, this doesn't feel as confident on 19 mil glass. If you don't have 19 mil glass, you really probably don't need the mega one. Or if you don't have fish the size of um, a bread and butter plate, you probably don't need it either. You did just see there, if you were lucky, that uh, the Atlantic Blue Tang was able to move this clip. Um, he's not able to move this one. He actually pulled on it hard enough that it pulled the magnet down. We'll see if he can do it again. Yeah, he's able to move that, which yeah, it's probably not gonna be great for your glass. If you've got something on there that's getting dragged across it. Um, that being said, the surface on them is nice and soft and everything, so it shouldn't do any damage, but uh, that is probably why when you get fish that size, you go to the mega clip. 
All right, we're a couple minutes in now, and you can see the two clips have been pretty well cleared out. I know they'll come and pick at the little bit remaining in there. The pouch, I'd say, is probably only maybe a quarter eaten. So the pouch definitely lasts a lot longer. It does stop those real aggressive ripping of chunks off there. Um, it does just let them slowly pick away at it, which like I've touched on, I do prefer, but I do also love this big, strong magnet. All right, now you can see here in my standard veggie clip, this one I've had for about 12 months. And if I just peel back the magnet, you can see on the wet side there, we're starting to see a little bit of uh, contamination or rust forming, which tells me it is time to replace it. I don't want that sitting in the tank causing any issues. As opposed to that, if we have a look at uh, the mega clip, which is a brand new one, you'll see there's absolutely no contaminants whatsoever on there. In fact, just a little reflection off the um, glass, it looks perfect. And same with the, uh, oh, if I can get that one off, the uh, pouch one, perfectly clean. So uh, when you start to see some contaminants forming like that, it is absolutely time to get that guy out of your tank and replace that clip. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the three different veggie clip options from Two Little Fishies. Like I said, some are gonna be suited to your tank more than others. If I had to put my favorite in, I'd probably say like a combination of the pouch with the mega clip, mainly because the mega clip gives a real dramatic view of when those big fish like to rip away at the clip, but probably more so because the pouch does just give the fish a little bit more of a uh, reasonable amount of seaweed at a reasonable time frame, rather than ripping half a chunk or half a sheet of uh, nori off and then just letting it float away and maybe then ripping away at it. The pouch does let them pull out just a little bit at a time. That being said, all three, I would recommend probably replacing every 12 months. If there is one little bit of good word there or one little bit of advice I can give you is that the mega one, like I said, the clip on the inside is the same with the standard version. So if you are gonna use the mega one you don't have to buy a mega one every 12 months the dry side should remain fine for a long long time to come it's just the wet side you need to replace so you can pick up the standard 35 dollar option and then you can put that on the inside you'll be fine for a long time to come anyway guys if you've got any comments questions feedback at all pop it in the comment section down below last but not least if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet please consider subscribing till next time guys stay safe and keep reefing cheers bye